Il y a des personnes très dangereuses dans le monde. In the world, there are very dangerous people. I gave you that quote in French so that it sounded like it was a quote, but in reality, it was just me saying that. Now, one of these very dangerous people in the world is called Sarge Minhas, and he is an incredibly nice person, but he is dangerous as hell. And the reason he's dangerous is that he attends all sorts of pen shows, he's very nice, and then he starts talking to you and he starts showing you things that he has, and then you end up spending a fortune. Everyone I know who goes to pen shows tells me the same stories. Oh no, he's a super nice guy. How much did you spend? A fortune. It's how it works. And this time he got me. Uh, he got me to spend something, and I, I actually, if I've had this pen for uh, weeks, weeks, few months, but I hadn't, I hadn't gotten around to reviewing it yet. But I know people were very excited, so I didn't want to wait around too long. Sorry for making you wait. I know people were excited, but here we go. Today we're going to talk about this pen, the Oldwin Classic in Arco Bronze Celluloid. According to some people, one of the nicest pen materials ever made. Other people don't really care for it. That's all fine. I happen to be one of those people who really, really like it, so today I want to really talk about this. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to show you the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, but before I do that, I'll do a writing sample. New format. You see, I still have to get used to it. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so here we go with the Oldwin Classic in Arco Bronze. And forgive me as I just take a sip of water. Mora Stilo makes these pens, used to make these pens. You can still buy the model. Mora is M-O-R-A. <clears throat> Mora Stilo in Paris. That is Paris, France, not Paris, any other part of the world. Um, <clears throat> and you can still get them, but not in this material because the Arco celluloid is now, as I understand it, all in the hands of Armando Simoni Club. So Moran does no longer make these, but you can get them in other finishes. Solid finishes, I've seen demonstrators, I've seen even wood versions, there are silver versions which are rather expensive, um, but if you really like the model you can buy it, you just can't buy the finish. Size-wise, larger pen, but not massive. You can see it next to Ulami Safari, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely girthier, it's maybe a bit longer, but it's not a massive oversized pen, which I think is good for most people. This is a, I think this would be a comfortable size. Let's cover the parts of the pen. So, top there, you have the finial, you can see the very nice Arco material. Nice tip there. And the barrel very naturally tapers down into that same tip and you can really see how beautifully that shows off that that arco material it's very very pretty uh, same thing in the back you can make the, uh, the the cap and the barrel line up better but because i don't want this to be a super long video take my word for it you can make that line up i just i'm just not making any effort right now clip says oldwin very stiff clip Clip. I don't find that the most comfortable uh, clip to use, but I barely ever use pen clips, to be honest, I just have my pens in a pouch. Anyway, let's open this up. Interesting nib, I'll come back to that. Section, tapers down, threads at the end there, so wherever you hold the pen, you never feel the threads, that's very nice. And this very smooth barrel. Uh, you barely even see where the barrel and section meet up but it's right there. So very nice craftsmanship uh, there. Also how they've made that material uh, line up because you, you really barely see where the two uh, ends meet, so to speak. The nib is what Oldwin describes as a number seven. Now I have never heard of a number seven nib, but here is a uh, Paragon Grande by Omas also in Arco, and uh, which has a number six nib, and then here is a an Armando Simoni Club Bologna Extra, uh, also in Arco. So this is the Arco Overload. 
Um, and here you have from left to right number six, number seven, number eight. What you may see in the number seven nib is that it has very wide shoulders, uh, which is definitely interesting. But to be honest, I'm just making sure this doesn't dry out. I'll put away the other pens. Uh, what is most interesting to me on that nib is how simple it is. Many nibs have all sorts of scroll work and, and, and things on it. This is super, super simple. All it says is Old Wind Paris 18K 750, and it's pure, nice, shiny yellow gold, which I think is, is very, very nice. Um, turn it over, and there you have an ebonite feed. Very, very simple, works really, really well. Cartridge converter filled system. Um, I know that some, some people would not enjoy that, but to be honest, I find it rather simple and easy to clean. The system is Waterman, so it takes Waterman cartridges, Waterman converters, and the converter I got with the pen, I think was a bit faulty because I could write about half a page and then the pen ran completely dry. Uh, since then I've switched to a simple refilled Waterman cartridge and I can write for hours without the pen running dry until I run out of ink. Uh, so uh, th that was just the uh, that specific converter I think had an issue, but with with cartridges no issue whatsoever. Okay, we need to see how it writes, don't we? So let's do that next. Just grabbing my my paper. Try to zoom in a little bit. What do we have here? We have. Uh, by the way, this pen does not post. I almost forgot that, but it, it, it doesn't post. So this is what you get. The Oldwin Classic. This is the nib they all come with. A sort of fine, medium, one size fits all. There is no other options. No broads, no stubs, no, no nothing. Just fine, medium. The ink is Asbury Brown. Recently labeled Ultimate Fountain Pen Ink by Time Magazine. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. This nib is smooth, and I love it. It's such a pleasant writer, and because it's all celluloid, it's not particularly heavy. There's no metal parts on it except for a little bit of a metal ring around the nib and feet, and of course the nib. It's light, it's comfortable. These, th these uh, threads you are not sharp at all, but you can just hold it in such a way that you don't feel any threads. Absolutely lovely. Do a bit of fast writing. Uh, I didn't see any skips. I have not found this uh, nib to be picky as to the angle, to the paper, nothing. Just a very, very good writer. Wetness. Not a gusher, just a nicely tuned nib, and that's all you need. As always, very careful. You see there is maybe a tiny bit of spring to it. By no means flex or semi-flex. Nor do I really flex it. And, of course, you may want to write with it upside down, as some people really enjoy, and it's possible. Definitely becomes a bit less smooth, but I would say get a good extra fine line out of that. And that's all there's to it, so I love this pen, but we need to see what I like about it and what I actually don't like about it. And that's what's coming up next. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Oldwin Classic and the Arco Bronze Celluloid. Well, there's a couple of things I really like. Let's start with the most controversial thing. Um, cartridge converter. Is that a thing or should it not be a thing? A pen at this price, um, $1,200, <coughs> some people would expect a piston filler. I've given this a lot of thought and I have figured out that I don't really care. I mean, not, not about what people think. I mean about piston fillers. A piston filler like, say, let me just line up that article, um, a piston filler like the Paragon, beautiful. Great, nice, large ink capacity, works well, is very pleasant, uh, great, until it breaks. Omas went under, what am I going to do if this piston breaks? No spare parts, 
uh, uh, no one's going to repair it at some point. There will be people who have some spare parts, but y you know what I mean. It can become a bit difficult. Cartridge converter, converter brakes, buy a new one for what is it, seven dollars? Uh, Waterman, I don't know what Waterman converter sells for, but probably something along those lines. You put it in and it may work. If it doesn't work, cartridges. Waterman is probably not going to go out of business for any any time soon. Waterman cartridges are cheap. You can put them in. So in a way, I like that. But I understand the argument of people who say, well, at that price, I would expect a slightly more fancy filling system. And I do, I, I do, I really do. But for me, easy to clean, simple. So I have revised my opinion a bit. And that happens sometimes. You know, you always have to challenge yourself and think, what do I actually care? Is it an automatic given that a pen at this price needs to have a piston filler? No, it's not. It's actually not. It could be, and yes, it's nice. It would be nice. It would be, but there would be another line there. And now you have the advantage that this is a nice, solid piece of arco without any disturbing lines. Uh, like, you know, like, like little grooves where the piston turning knob would end, etc. Okay. What else do I like about it? Well, this particular model, the Arco, I love Arco Brown. That's just personal. Some people don't care for it. I do care for it. So when I saw this, that is the thing that kind of sold me on the pen. Um, I like that the threads are placed at the end of the section, uh, not unique. Uh, I think uh, Franklin Christoph does that on a number of their pens, if not all their pens actually as well, and that works really well. So. It's not unique, but it is very nice because it makes for a very pleasant experience as you hold the pen. I like the nib, both because it writes well, because it has an ebonite feed which just conducts ink beautifully, uh, but also because it's a very pleasant nib. Just a, a touch of, of yield to it. I, I don't really flex my nibs anyway, but some people do, then it's great. But in any case, because it has that very gentle bounce, it just makes for a super soft, smooth writing experience, which, which is really, really pleasant. So I do really like that. Should you wonder, you can really pinch the nib and feed carefully and you can carefully unscrew the pen and you can take out the nib unit for cleaning if you really want to. As I said, ebonite feed, uh, that's nice. Oh, and the final thing about the nib I wanted to say is I really love that simplicity. The fact that there's nothing on it but the brand, the place where it's made, and the, uh, the 18K indication, that's all you really need. Let's talk about some things that I don't really like. I'm not sure if I really like Sarge anymore because he keeps selling me uh, pens that, that cost me a fortune. But in any case, um, I'm just kidding. Sarge is a wonderful person. Um, the price is high. Very high. This is grail pen territory. Is it worth it? That's a different matter. For me, yes, it was worth it. Now, when it comes to this particular model, the Arco Bronze, I had a chat about Arco with uh, Emmanuel Caltagiron, of uh, the, the president of Arco, Armando Simoni Club, a couple of days ago, and he said Arco is extremely expensive, but it's actually becoming a good investment um, because he said the original Paragons, not not the large one, but the, the the smaller Paragon model. He said I have a catalog page when the pen was introduced, and the MSRP was four hundred and fifty dollars. Now, uh, uh, Omas has gone out of business and people are buying these same models that used to cost $450 and they're now paying up to $2,500 for those pens. And that, of course, is an insane increase in price. So the Arco is definitely hyped up. There may be some people online to blame for that who review pens and post nice pictures on Instagram. Uh, I may be one of them. <clears throat> but in any case, in a way that's a shame. Now what I'm not saying is you should buy all the Arco to have it as an investment, that's not what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is unfortunately the price of Arco has gone up. It's just the way it is, right? And, and that's, uh, that's what I wanted to say about that. Okay, as I already said, cartridge converter, uh, yeah, could also be a piston filler, could also be a compressor filler, could also be an eyedropper, could actually I guess you could use it as an eyedropper because there's no material, no, no metal material on the inside of the pen, but then it is celluloid, you want to expose that to an ink continuously. I personally wouldn't do that, but I guess you could. This is just me showing off the pen because otherwise you're just staring at my face, you see. I say again, I don't really mind the cartridge converter. I've 
sort of revise my opinion a bit on that. Final thing I wanted to say was I had some issues, as I already said, with the supplied converter. Um, I think that was just a, a faulty converter, but as I said, I put in a cartridge, it writes for pages and pages on end without stopping. So that's really great, good air exchange, works works really well. Um, that's it. I'll be fair, I love the pen. I absolutely love it. So if you see one, and you need one, you should buy it. Bottom line, lovely pen, great material, and there are less expensive ones too. Uh, I see them on the website, it's uh, Morastilo, I want to say, so M-O-R-A-S-T-I-L-O-S.com, I'll try to link to it. There's all smalls that are 650 euros. Is that cheap? Absolutely not. Is it cheaper than 1200? Absolutely. So, you know, you can look around a bit. There's also smalls that are 2200 euros, I think, in, in sterling silver or something. So they're not cheap pens, but I, I, I will say if this is... Um, uh, representative and my friend Joe bought one uh, that's like this but it's the green Arco he, he his was perfect too now, the fact that this seam is almost invisible the craftsmanship is very good his wrote very pleasantly too he said uh, so they do seem to be really nicely made consistently nicely made pens and I think that's great so you 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 pay a lot but I think you also get a lot and that's all let's do it so thank you to Sarge for selling me on yet another expensive pen um, I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.